Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Okazaki fragments. So in my lecturing experience, if there's one term that I've realized confuses most students is this term Okazaki fragments. So in this video, I will answer two questions. What are the Okazaki fragments and how are they produced? So first, um, in the previous video, we had looked at the where we looked at the structure of DNA. We talked about DNA having two antiparallel strands. So where one runs from five prime to three prime, and the other one from three prime to five prime. So the strand that runs from five prime to three prime is called the leading strand, and the one that runs from three prime to five prime is called the lagging strand. And during DNA replication. That is uh, the synthesis of new DNA strands from the old ones. So the synthesis occurs in the 5 to 3 prime direction. So when you look at the diagram here, the upper part where it's labeled the leading strand. So of course the synthesis of the DNA is from 5 to 3 prime direction. And there, of course, we can see the red part represents the RNA primer that is usually... Uh, placed by the primase at the beginning, by the primase enzyme at the beginning of the DNA synthesis. So now, of course, the synthesis, because it's from 5 to 3 prime direction, it's continuous. So in the lagging strand, which now is now the lower part, this is where we now have the Okazaki fragments being synthesized. So basically, um, the lagging strand is synthesized in the DNA that runs from, uh, in the template that runs from five, uh, 3 prime to 5 prime. And of course, because the synthesis of the DNA has to be in the 5 to 3 prime direction, so it means uh, several uh, primers will have to be inserted so that uh, several Okazaki fragments can be synthesized in the 5 to 3 prime direction as you can see in the lower part because the overall um, the overall direction of replication is on the right side so and of course now the okazaki fragments have to be synthesized so that um, in uh, in the long run the dna strand that is synthesized follows in the overall direction of re replication as you can see in this diagram here so uh, I'll repeat again, the lagging strand, uh, the lagging strand uh, is synthesized in the strand that is from 3 prime to 5 prime direction. But of course, the synthesis still has to occur in the, of the strand has to occur in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. So because of that, many RNA primers, which are usually inserted before the um, DNA polymerase can now add the nucleotides, so many of them will be used. And of course, for each that is added, and the and the strands uh, and the nucleotides are added, that will be now the Anokazaki fragment. And uh, in the long run, so many uh, several local synthesize, as we can see from this diagram here. Um, on the uh, on the far end, we have our first Okazaki fragment, then the second one, then the third one, and of course now here we have the DNA polymerase three, which is now adding nucleotides. Uh, to now synthesize the short Okazaki fragments. So in the um, strand that runs from 3 prime to 5 prime, once the synthesis is complete, we'll have so many short Okazaki fragments which will be produced. Mm -hmm. And of course, once the Okazaki fragments have been produced, because of course it, uh, they have to be, uh, as much as the synthesis is discontinuous, they have to be... Um, the strand has to be continuous. So because of that, there's DNA polymerase 1. Remember, the one that adds the nucleotides to the primer, RNA primer is DNA polymerase 3, but the one that uh, now removes the RNA primers, because remember the DNA has to be fully DNA. Uh -huh. So the one that removes the RNA primers, which are in red, is the DNA polymerase one. So it will remove the primers, and after removing the primers, it will now add the DNA nucleotides. Yeah. So once it has done that, the ligase will now uh, create bonds 
between the sugar phosphate backbone to now form a continuous strand and so that we'll have the synthesized DNA strand. Thank you for listening. So in case you have any question or clarification, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. And of course, if um, this section, the Okazaki concept section is not clear, you can check the full video where I've explained the entire DNA replication process. So that way you'd be able to understand because there I mentioned the different enzymes that are involved here yeah, and the different processes and the mechanism. And the video is a bit longer. So with that, you'd be able to understand fully the Okazaki fragment and how they are produced. Thank you and have a good day.